মাইরে ভাইটামিন আছে প্রাণ এই ভাষার জন্য প্রাণ দিয়ে ওরা হয়ে আছে চির অমলান হয়ে আছে চির মানিকে মাগে হিতে মানিকে 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 So you probably already fully recognize her from this song, but uh, if you still don't, she'll give an introduction for herself. Okay. Hello everybody, this is Simran Lubaba. I'm the granddaughter of late actor Abdul Qadir. And I'm an actress, a singer, probably a writer because I'm writing a book on manners and etiquette for children. And I want all of the children in this Bangladesh to be fully mannered and nicely etiquette. And I just wrote a song about my grandfather. I don't know when it's going to release. It's going to be a little late, I guess. And that's all about me. <laughs> And I go to B.F. Shahin English Medium School and I'm a fourth grader. Where did you learn all of these skills in singing and acting? See, uh, this singing is from my mother. I learned it from my mother. And skill development is for my, from Yasser Sir from Tesol Bangladesh. He's so, he's so great. I just learned English and uh, phonetics pronoun pronunciation and a lot of things and book writing hmm. wow all right so um now i wanted to ask you about your grandfather he was a uh, he was a very famous actor as you mentioned sadly he died uh very late in 2020 so do you want to tell us something about him yeah I want to tell. So, first of all, I want to show a uh, thing. This is my grandfather called um, Bodhi Bhai. Bodhi. Mm -hmm. This is so old, we just like cleaned it outside. So, uh, everyone know him as Bake, uh, Bodhi Bhai. He, this Bodhi Bhai character was famous as uh, at Kothau Kyoran. This is a really, really famous Natok like, movie at Bangladesh. So everyone knows him as Bodhi Bhai. He was so funny character, so joking and so fantabulous uh, character. So I must tell that he was so funny and joking around with people. And when he go to a word program, he just takes the speech for one hour. Just joking out with people, so it was fun, and I miss him. Um, I really don't want to talk about him because I feel sad, and it's like something. It's hard. All right. So um, I hear that he was also uh, he would also like to talk uh, joke a lot and talk a lot with another character named uh, Bakirman. I think you even mentioned him by accident over there. So you want to uh, repeat one or two dialogue lines for, uh, for both of them? Yeah, I will. So, Maire vitamin asse. This, this was like the second famous dialogue. It was so funny. Everyone loved it. <laughs> I think that means um, hurting yourself will give you vitamins. You're right. You're completely right. Hey. You know, Manuelie. A little bit. 
Oh, you are so, so intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> you know everything. You are perfect in a lot of ways. Uh, oh. Anyway, um, so now I wanted to ask you, um, there were a lot of people who wanted to know about your acting career. So um, where did you start? And how did you get from there to now? Okay, so acting career, I want to say it in a small way because I have nothing like special. So first, uh, my grandfather was a director of Bata Shoe Company. It's like international, you know, it's a shoe company. First, it was my first photo shoot. It was a shoe, a shoe pair, a pair of shoe photo shoot. Anyway, it was nice. I was so nervous. I was like shaking all the time, sweating. Oh my God, what should I do? What should I do, grandfather? I do nothing. I do nothing. Then it was Apex. Apex is also shoe company. Then it was TVC. After TVC, it was OVC. After OVC, it was short movies. Short movies, I have done a lot of like short movies. It was nice. So after short movies, movies. Um, I have done two movies. It was like Bongo Bondu's Pasha Shutu. It was, uh, I just have done a lovely and beautiful character. It was so nice. And I don't know when it's going to release. So um, it's going to release soon, I guess, because the COVID is not going out. It's so annoying. The COVID is so annoying. Just staying and coming back and go away, coming back. I'm so disturbing. The COVID is so disturbing. So anyway, I've done the movie called Natri the Leader. It, the, this is director and the writer is Anunto Jolil. He's a great actor, a villain, a hero. <laughs> He's a nice and kind-hearted person. And Borsha, Borsha Kalamuni, I call her Kalamuni. And she's so lovely. She's so kind-hearted too. That's all about me, like all about my acting career. So, you know, I do, it hurts. Like, I do hard work sometimes. <laughs> Mm. You do, but you do more than me. No. My, no. Yes, you do more than me. You're a professor giving always lecture. You're so tired. You do very well. Oh my no. God, you like accept my please. You you don't have to talk about me. So yeah, but. So I hear you have a little bit of uh, you had a little bit of stage fright, and my tip is uh, ignore the audience. And why you need to look at the audience? Think of it as one big box that's all uh, that's judging you a little bit at a time. Don't be scared of her. Don't think that uh, everybody's going to walk away and say, "Hey, that girl was weird. What was she saying?" So uh, and nobody's going to walk away thinking that. Everybody's going to uh, walk away thinking this girl was so great. She's so young. And in fact, I assume since you're in fourth grade, you're the same age as me. Um, I'm going to go. I want to be an anchor and a book writer, a singer, because I don't want to do any job. You know, in this generation, some people think you get a job. It's okay. You'll get a lot of money. Okay, job and get a family and whatever. Do nothing. So... I want you live once, okay? So make your life so wonderful and beautiful. So I have someone to show you. He's very famous and he's a professor. Oh my God, he's very famous. You know him. You don't know him. So you know sure? him. I'm not sure. He looks slightly familiar, but I don't think I know him. I don't know why. He's a professor. He's so nice. I'm going to read his book. He, he looks completely new to me. No way. Yeah. So, um, num number seven. So, um, who has been helping you all this time succeed? He's such a great actor and singer. So, it's obviously acting. It's obviously for my grandfather. Okay. Thank you, sir. That's my grandfather and me. Huh? And I'm going to show you another picture. He, he's really nice. Pandemic. Wow! My goodness! 
Yeah, so all the acting, it's came from the blood. So he teach me a lot of things, how to do that dialogue or say in that expression and a lot of things. He teach me the acting after he passed away. It was my grandmother. He's beside me. She's beside me. She's a wonderful woman. She teach me a lot of things about acting. <laughs> she is so, so strict. She's oh. too much strict. But for the strictness, I'm here, right? I'm here. So well, for my... Yeah, for the singing did career. That, yeah. Did you say that right next to her? Uh, it's okay. She knows. Um, okay. Uh, it's, 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 home. Right? Anyway, she's beside me. She's like laughing and not laughing. The smile. He's worrying <laughs> about me. How should I talk to a professor? Am I going to talk nicely or something? She's so scared. No, no. It's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you're honestly so wonderful. And uh, number nine, or number eight, rather. So, what, what do you do in your free time? What do you find yeah. fun? Yes. Free time, yeah. In the free time, I read books. A lot of books just like um, Think and Grow Rich, Motivational, like, you know, Seven Effective Peoples, How Money Works, and that type of books I read. And those are, those are really motivational and teach you a lot of general knowledge things. And when I get time, I watch motivational videos on YouTube that could help me and watch you. I watch you every single thing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. You're a professor. How come? How come you be, be a professor? Well, I, I have taught in a college. And I have spoken at multiple universities and colleges all over the world. So I would consider myself a professor or at least somewhat a teacher. And I have also taught many people online uh, over the camera. Cool Bangladesh peoples are are really proud of for you. Like we are really proud and like blessed to have you. Aww, thank you yeah. so much. And another question, sorry saying, can I be your friend? I just asked you two times now. Well, you just give the answer. <laughs> uh just the I don't like a proposal. I'll think about it. We can't say this on okay, the Can you say that? Can I, can, I'm, I'm bigger than you, but obviously in a way you're bigger than me, you're, you know, a lot of things. So can I be, uh, can I be a big uh, sister? Oh my goodness. 